Hey guys, welcome back, it's Tony Zartus. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use CFANS, Taobao, Ridian, and Yupo. How to use it. Before we start, hurry up and check out all these footages under this video. So let's get started. In this case, you might be new to CFANS here and you're wondering how do you start using it. Well, using the platform itself is pretty easy, but we first need to understand how CNFAN actually works. Well, in this case, CNFAN actually helps you get products from China. So in this case, they actually store your products first in a warehouse, do quality check on the product itself, and basically ship it into your country, or in this case, your location. Now, if you just go to their official website, which is going to be cnfans.com, they have a detailed instructions or some of the service that they actually offer here. So again, you need pur first purchase the product here, which in this case, you need to submit the payment and they will purchase it for you. So if that makes sense, and they will ship that pro those products into their warehouse and do some quality checking yourself here. They will send you some pictures. And in this case, finally, you, will, you should be able to receive your products via global shipping here. Now, how do we use it? So first things first is we need to create our account. Now on their official website, you want to click on the profile icon at the top right here. And from here, you want to go ahead and log in. Now, if you want to sign up, just click on sign up here. And from here, you want to provide your email address and your password that you want to use and just click on register. Now also alternatively, you could log in using your Google account. You don't need to sign uh, sign up with Google for you to use this uh, a specific login. So typically you just click on continue with Google here, choose my Google account, and that would actually lock me in to my account. But if you want to do this manually, you could go ahead and do that. So there's going to be some additional steps, like for example, confirming your ID or your um, email by entering verification codes and all those stuff. But in this case, once you've logged in, this is what's going to look like. Now, from here, what we need to do first is we need to change a few things. So by the way, if you're not in your account first, you can go to cnfan.com here. Go to your profile at the top right here. Go to my accounts to view the same UI that I actually uh, saw. Now, in this case, uh, the user center here allows you to view the general information about your account. So what is your current balance on your account? Uh, if you want to redeem some promo codes or, co or if you want to redeem some codes here, you should be able to easy easily do that in here. Now, also have the balance here, which in this case, if you want to withdraw or even top up. So if you want to top up some balance here, you could go and choose that one and enter the amount that you want to top up. Like, for example, I'm going to top up like 1,000 yuan here. Could go and click on confirm. And that should redirect you to the payment section here, which in this case, you can either pay with your debit card or credit card with Google Pay, Alipay, Skrill, or with crypto payment if you want to. Now, in this case, just click on continue payment to proceed with your payment here and receive your actual funds. Now, now what we need to do next here is we need to change a few things about our account. Let's go back into our my account here. And from here, you could go to the section for what. So in the what section, you'll have the option again. You have the you withdraw top up here, and if there are any some history, like if you've top up or withdrawn, you should be able to see some history here as well. Now also you have the account section here, which allows you to change your password. So in this case, you should be able to see some basic information about yourself, like your first name, last name, your display name, as well as your email address. Now, also in this page here, you'll have the option to change your addresses or update your addresses. So currently, when you go to addresses here, go and click on edit here. And from here, just provide all these ID details here. That includes your first name, last name, country, region, address, sound, CD, state, zip code, and phone number. So in this case, go ahead and provide all the entire details here. Now, from here, what we need to do next is we want to go ahead and basically uh, do a few things here. So first is we need to basically search for our products. So we'll be showing you later orders in Warehouse here and Parcel as well. Let's go and go back into CN Fans. From here, in their website, you can basically start searching for a product. So for example, I'm going to search for a shirt. Just press and enter here. And from here, it's going to give you different options for shirts. So in this case, you go and select the items that you want to buy. So for example, maybe I want to buy one of the product here for, uh, for example, this is an example. Let's go open up this product here. Let's go ahead and click on it and it should show you the product information. So that includes the title of the product, how much it's actually worked. So currently it's around 69 uh, yuan. So you it's around 10 uh, US dollars here if you're wondering. And from here, you have the uh, variations or variants of that specific product and the sizes and the quantity itself. 
Now in this case, if they do have some de for, uh, other details about this product here, you should be able to see it at the product details section. So that includes the product details, some description, some specifications and parameters, so how it's uh, what it's made of and all those details. We also have some customer reviews here if some data or in this case, some people actually bought it and l left some reviews on how it actually looked like, if it's true to its sizes. Also have the shopping agent guidance here if they have that if they have content for that and after sales service here if they have it. so currently it's quite, it just says item you buy will be sent to Zen fans warehouse so this is the generic one but yeah so in this case for you to add this into your cart you go and click on add to cart here but first you want to go ahead and select your uh, cl classification so our size here let's go and click on check to agree and click on add to cart it's going to be added now now, another way for you to start searching on CN fans is to utilize there's two uh, the other two options of searching for it. So in this case, you could actually use or upload a photo here to search for a specific product. Like for example, if you're searching for a specific look of a t-shirt or a jacket, you can upload an image for that and it's going to give you the close results for that. But another way of shopping here or buying products is via product links. So for example, I'm in Taobao here. So in this case, I want to open up one of the products that we have here. Once it's actually opened up, what we need to do is we need to copy the link of that product. Let's go ahead and co copy the product link here. Go back into CN fans and we want to paste it in here. Click on search. And once you click on it, it's going to redirect you to the actual product page here and you should be able to start buying that specific product. Now, in this case, let's go ahead and add this product here into our cart here. Let's go ahead and select our color size and click on add to cart. Now, by the way, you could change the quantity if you want to, but for now, let's go add to cart here. And from here, we want to go to our cart now. Let's go ahead, go ahead and click on the cart icon at the right side here. Now, from here, let's go ahead and click on view cart. And from here, we should now be able to start um, basically submitting this. So in this case, let's go ahead and click on submit order once you're sure there's a the product that you want to buy. And on the next page, you'll have the option to uh, basically view a few things here before proceeding with checkout. So in this case, uh, disclaimer, packaging refers to the original packaging of the product. And in this case, it's going to give you some disclaimers here. So for each product, you will take the three seven photos for you, uh, for you for free. So if you buy, bought some, um, some products here, they will take like three to seven photos uh, for you. So in this case, you'll know if the uh, product actually meets uh, the quality that you are looking for. But for now, let's go ahead and click on confirm. And from here, you could go and click on extra photo here if you want to add extra photos, but there are going to be some service fees here. So it's around uh, 23 cents uh, if you want to, but for now, we're good for that. But in this case, once you're sure here, you could go ahead and click on I agree and read, the, uh, read and agree here. And from here, let's go ahead and choose our destination. You could choose your country here. And you could also, in this case, make sure to choose the correct uh, country here. It's where they'll be sending the warehouse, or in this case, what country or what uh, what country's warehouse they're sending to. So in this case, I chose Australia here. You could choose a different types of destination if you want to. You go and click on X here and choose the appropriate one here. But for now, let's go and click on the proceed to check out section here. Now from here, it should redirect you to the checkout section, which in this case, you need to proceed with the payment. Now, if you have, or if you've topped up before, you should be able to start using your balance here. If you're not, you can actually add your debit or credit card here, Visa, MasterCard, we also have the other cards here as well, Google Pay, Alipay, Skrill, or Crypto Payment. In this case, go ahead and click on Pay for Order, and you should be able to basically uh, perceive your order, and they will start shipping your orders into the country's a specific warehouse. Now, in this case, once you place your order, what are the next steps here? So we are now back into our account section. So in this case, if you've bought or if you haven't like checked out something here, it's going to be in the cart section. So if you have ongoing orders, this is what it's going to look like. So you start paying for them if you haven't paid for them before. Even add uh, extra services if you want to like extra photos of the product. You should be able to see them in warehouse if you've actually uh, basically uh, um, basically added. Like for example, if you've already paid for it it's going to be in the warehouse section if it's uh, already delivered in the warehouse now in this case uh, we should be able to basically try the warehouse or hair still packing here if you want to 
So in this case, this is what's going to look like whenever you're doing a like for example, if you want to send this to your uh, country, this is what it's going it's going to actually look like. So in this case, you have the option to add or remove packaging, or in this case, keep the packaging or remove the packaging. Here, you should be able to see the weight as well and the quantity of the product itself, and also. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, they also do the declaration for you. But if you do, uh, or if they are, if you want to do the declaration yourself, uh, the rule term for it is going to be around one kilogram for twelve dollars or. Twelve dollars for one kilogram. So make sure to keep that in mind. And also, you have the option to choose your shipping method here. So depending on the shipping that you choose here, the price might be different, and the uh, rules or the uh, fees for it might be different for our variant for shutter. And the transit time could actually differ. So in this case, the faster ones actually cost more. But make sure to weigh in. Uh, your budget here and what shipping method you want you really want to use here but in this case once you've clicked on submit parcel uh, you should be able to uh, basically or they might ask you like for example you some additional details about yourself like your address so make sure to just fill that out but in this case it's just the waiting game here and from then on you should be good and that's about it so if you found this video helpful hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video